All right. So Ali feels to believe that honesty is not always the best policy in situations uh, for like positive reinforcement or to like preserve someone's innocence or feelings. However, though, though the, tr the truth will always come out in the end. So like, why do we need to like stall it by lying or anything? And like, if let's say when the fight, when like, well, you just use Mr. Radikin's example, saying like, I'm right, you're wrong. Well, then usually people retaliate like, no, that's not like. Like, that's not, like, you're not, like, having sincere emotion with it. They know, like, people can tell, like, when you're lying or something. And if it's not sincere, then that just goes even to further. Like, really, in the in the beginning, like, if any counseling with any, like, let's say, relationship couples, it usually all starts off with be honest to each other and, like, figure, and that's where you figure out each other's problems with one another because you're being honest and you're sharing your true emotions. And then with the being preserving children's innocence, in the end, they'll like learn all about Santa Claus or Tooth Fairy by, by they grow up. And is it really important to preserve their innocence right then? And it's not like it's a full lie. It's like you're kind of like half telling the truth. You're giving yourself a character with like Santa Claus and such. And then also, what was I say? Like just imagine a life without lying. Imagine if like the whole, like lying wasn't existed. That, that is a movie thing. Um, and then, like, this whole, like, then all this wouldn't really matter. You wouldn't think of to be rude, like, it wouldn't be considered rude to say someone doesn't look fully pretty. But also you can, instead of saying, like, oh, you look ugly, you can, you don't really need to say the full truth without lying. You can say, oh, that style is unique, or that is different, <laughs> and so, instead of saying, oh, yeah, mm, not my style. And so, like, really lying, it's not like... So, like, lying isn't right, and we all know that. And then it just usually causes more trouble. Because if people find out you lie to them, they, they will either not trust you, they'll hate you because of it, um, other things. Um, that relationship is it will just get broken. And, like, all right, the spy situation is such a not regular situation. Like, you not all, I'm assuming none of you are spies, but if you do, good job lying, I guess. Um, but really, that's not, like, that's not like a situation that comes up. That's not like, that's a totally different circumstance. Like, I don't see where that fits under honesty's best policy. Really, you're being honest to the, the government that you switched for and such. You're not like lying, you're... It's not like you're really lying, you're playing a character. It wouldn't be lying. You're playing a character within your old terrorist organization, if that all makes sense. Because to find more information, it's not really lying. You're still being honest, because you're still giving the honest information that you received back to the government. So really, spying isn't considered, it's not really lying. It's really like a twist of words to get to that. And like, though, Ellie, like, when I cross-examined, may have not, like, fully wouldn't, wouldn't uh, not trust a friend if they lied to them, she could have been lying there. And really, that's wrong. So I don't know if we can trust Ellie throughout this debate. <laughs> so, she doesn't, she's no longer credible, because I believe she lied, but that's besides the point. Because I think, overall, when we, like, with our relationships and our friends, if someone lies to you, and you find out, they're really, there's, though it might not be, like, on, like, there's a subconscious level of mistrust between that, like, it, though it, you might not be like, oh, no, no, that's fine, really deep down, you're kind of lying to them, which is also wrong, because really, in the overall, with relationships, friendships, or anything, honesty will always be the best policy, because if you're honest with one another, it does not have to be, you don't have to be brutally honest, you just have to be honest with one another, then it will maintain a, you'll maintain a strong relationship. Because you ha you have full trust for each other, and you're not hiding secret emotions and such. Because in the end, those will all come out. We've all seen those romantic comedy films where the part that goes down, you know, the part like where it's like a big climax, and then they realize he finds out lying. See, if they were just honest, the movie would be much simpler, not as exciting, but the relationship would have worked out. From the, beginning. the golden rule exemplifies to treat others as want to be treated. I'm sorry, but I don't believe that all of you want to be lied to, and therefore would not lie. This maxim in philosophy goes back, uh, goes back so far, and is taught to every child at such a young age because it has such meaning to it, and because it is something that everyone should believe in and follow. Once again, honesty is always the best policy. Without it, there would be no integrity in the world. Stay honest and vote negative. <laughs>